But right now, we're going to uh, welcome a new guest uh, to Robin Hood Radio. And that is from the Canaan Country Club, Joe Catrocci. Uh, Joe, there I did, I did. I thought I had it down. You did. You did. The first one was perfect. Okay, Quattrochi. Joe, uh, uh, nice to speak to you. So let's talk a little bit about you and the Canaan Country Club. Uh, how did this all come about? Well, I don't know if you remember, but I own uh, Wheels of Time over in Pine Plains. Absolutely. For, uh, Absolutely. No restoration. So someone approached me about doing something car-related, and we needed land. And so I, I saw that the Canaan Country Club was available. I thought it might be a good fit for the project we were thinking about and then i kind of didn't really love the project but i loved the country club and i, and I just pursued it on my own from there uh so really uh, it's 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 almost kind of like a a bolt out of the blue uh and and now you still have your your interest in your working cars but the canaan country club obviously uh has steered you in a little bit of a different direction that, that, to say the least <laughs> now, now are you a, are you a golfer yourself um, not really. I do play, but I probably have played once in the last three or four years. Well, so then, uh, so what did you find so inc- so so enticing? Was it was it the community? Was it was it the history of the club? Was it the fact that it's kind of close to where you live and stuff like that? Well, kind of all of the above. And I, if you know anything about me, you know that I like to kind of fix things. <laughs> you know, given that I have wheels of time, I. We always try to fix things. So I looked at the country club, and I thought it had good bones and uh, good structure, and I thought that I could make it better. And I also wanted to invest, excuse me, invest in um, North Canaan. You know, I think that's that's another indicator uh, to want to in, to want to invest, especially in a time like we're going through now. Uh, you know, I remember when we started this radio station many, many years ago, it was right after the big uh, uh, financial crisis and Wall Street collapsed. And people said, oh, you were crazy to start. Well, actually, it's a good time to start because everybody starts off on, on kind of an even even, an even, even footing. Uh, and to bring something to the community where not only do you supply something that people have come to expect over the years with the golf club and the restaurant, but uh, you employ people or you, uh, you, you, you open up your venue for other things to happen so i it's a big uh, pat on the back for wanting to invest in, in a local business uh coming out of times like we've just come out of well thank you so let's talk a little bit about uh about your restaurant there at the belted cow now uh at, uh, at the canaan country club yeah well the name i hemmed and hawed for weeks or months about what i should name it and then it just kind of came to me that I'm, my ex-wife, who I'm still very close to, she loved, when we, we were started out up, up here as weekenders, and she loved seeing the belted cows across from Paley's okay. on, our, on our drive up to Sharon. So I came up with the name Belted Cow. I love it. Um, I think Oreo Cow could have got me in a little trouble. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, But the, we've completely changed the restaurant. Um, physically, like I said before, it had good bones, but... It was the the dining room itself was just one big open space that they only use predominantly for events, and I wanted it to be a more of a uh, of a restaurant than just an event space. So we uh, we changed the lighting, um, got new furniture, completely redid all four bathrooms, paved the driveway, uh, new chef, uh, new staff. Uh, it's it's. Um, it, the food is great. We, you know, I when I first started, I'm thinking, okay, I want to be somewhere in between physically and in terms of the food concept between Woodlands and the old mill in South Agarma, and I think we're there. You know, I I'm, the I'm, great. I'm at your website uh, uh, and I'm looking at your at, at your lunch menus: uh, mac and cheese, chicken wings, uh, a charcuterie board, eggplant. Uh, also, uh, uh, you've got. Uh, Turkey sandwiches, butter, buttermilk fried chicken, uh, all beef hot dogs, and and you also feature uh, local cocktails from uh, from the Berkshire Distillery as well. That's correct. And uh, and now, what hours is the restaurant, the Belted Cow, open? The Belted Cow is open seven days a week from eleven until nine. Eleven in the morning till nine at night. 
All right, and I'm looking at your dinner menu right now. And once again, crafted cocktails, Berkshire Distillery featured cocktails. But then you have uh, a, a whole selection from uh, I call lighter portion food to actually where you can sit down, steak and frites, filet mignon, chicken milanese, uh, pork tenderloin. Uh, so this is a this is something new to you. And, and now, how long have you been actually involved now with the changeover of the restaurant and getting things uh, shaken down and, and ready to go? Well, it's kind of been interesting because it took us a, <clears throat> excuse me it took us a while to actually get the deal done, and I don't, I don't even remember why it took us so long. But in the course of uh, the negotiation with Rich, um, we both agreed that I would just take over, even though I wasn't the owner yet. Yeah. So I've been I've been working on transforming the Belted Cow for probably six months, but I've only technically owned the place for about five weeks <laughs> but isn't uh, don't you think that was kind of an, a, a great way to go into it it, it gave you almost like a, a very r- slow rolling chance to make changes and open as the way you would like to see it you know it wasn't the worst way but i always say that it was like trying to fix an airplane while it's in the air <laughs> uh, it, it, it's it, it was very difficult we made some mistakes but uh overall i think most people who has seen the changes, really appreciate what we've done. Well, you know, it's it's what's great about it is that you you now have a restaurant that's open seven days a week. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, Canaan is, 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 is once again reawakening kind of a lot like a, a mean in New York now with you with the belted cow and, and everything else that's going on in North Canaan. But I think to keep the tradition of the country club alive and then also uh, offer a, a full-service restaurant that's open seven days a week uh, is, is something that, that, you know what, the area really needs it, and and we have additional people that moved up here since the pandemic. Uh, so, your theme of the restaurant, uh, food wise, are you just kind of keep it like American, like staple food and stuff like that? Yes, for the most part, yes. Um, we do have to. You you mentioned some things earlier on the lunch menu. Um, we do have to cater to the golfers as well. Yep. So so we're trying to thread the needle there where. Golfers appreciate what we're doing, but also people that haven't, who haven't come to the club before, or haven't come to the restaurant before, can really appreciate uh, almost fine dining. Well, you know, that's, I looked at that I, and I saw that. I saw that that there is a menu that's for the golfers. There is a what we call a bar menu, and I always love it when a restaurant has a bar menu because it's not necessarily like the full full dinner menu, but it's a sample of it. And then you actually have the, the full dinner menu as well, so you can you can serve the golfers, people that want to come in for lunch and dinner, uh, uh, three different experiences. We hope so. Well, uh, so now, uh, now that uh, it's yours and you're, and you're open and it's there, how do you feel? How do you feel? Are you excited? I am. I am. It's. Uh, uh, it. I think there's a natural tendency right now as the golf season slows down um, to be a little anxious because um, I think all of the leagues are wrapping up this week or wrapped up last week. And our job right now is just to drive business to the restaurant because uh, it's very important um, over the course of the uh, non-golf season that, uh, that people uh, um, find out about the restaurant. Well, are you, uh, well, you're close by and you're easily located. Once again, uh, we are speaking uh, right now here on Robin Hood Radio with Joe Cotrucci, who is the new owner of the Canaan Country Club, but also the Belted Cow, uh, and I want to say Farmhouse Tavern, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think you've done a great job in, in, in setting up the image for it. By the way, the Belted Cow uh, is uh, is available on the web, just at the Canaan Country Club website. Uh, but the tavern is open Sunday through Thursday, 11 to 9, and Friday and Saturday from 11 to 10. I think having it so available and so open, uh, people will find it, and the more people find it, I think, uh, more people are getting back into the swing of things, Joe, of going out now and uh, trying to re-enter normal life. Well, I hope uh, I hope that that continues. I know this uh, COVID variant of the of the this Delta variant of the COVID virus is kind of creeping its way north, and so I hope that uh, everyone up 
in Canaan and Connecticut stay safe. All right. Well, I think, once again, congratulations uh, for keeping the, uh, purchasing the Canaan Country Club and then reestablishing uh, the tavern, the farmhouse tavern, the Belted Cow. Uh, and once again, everything, all the information that we've talked about will be available on our on-demand page. We'll have links to all the different sections, but you can also go to the Canaan Country Club website and also find out about the Belted Cow there. Joe, uh, well, welcome back to Robin Hood Radio and welcome back to the area and good luck uh, with the Belted Cow and the Canaan Country club thank you marshall all right take care joe okay take care it's really great when uh, someone wants to take the time to invest in a business uh, in in a community during a, a tough time like this so uh, we wish uh, joe a lot of luck and uh, you know what he'll succeed he's a, he's a, he's a hard worker